Good morning, and welcome back to another uh, Red Letter Advent morning devotional thought. Some of you may find this hard to believe, but back in 1981, when I uh, first started in my pre-seminary classes at Concordia College, Ann Arbor, I took Latin. I remember very little from my Latin days. Uh, There's a phrase that will always stick with me, uh, although it has very little use. As wise as the statement is, uh, there's not a lot of context for me to ever use it. Uh, The phrase is this, if we're going to teach you a little Latin today, the phrase is semper ubi sub ubi. Semper ubi sub ubi. Well, semper, if you are a uh, Marine, semper fi, always faithful, semper, always ubi. Ubi, where? Yes. Sub. Well, sub, we get submarine, down under, so sub is under. So, semper ubi, always wear, sub ubi, underwear. I told you it wasn't exactly uh, theologically rattling anything exciting. But it is Latin, and I do remember that phrase. And there's another phrase that I remember from Latin, and we're going to get to that in just a moment because it has to do with Advent hope. How many of you have ever started reading the Bible and you get, um, well, if you survive through um, the Pentateuch, uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, then you start to get into the historical books. And I tell you, you can go along for a while and and pretty soon you're kind of depressed because God's people are constantly turning away from him. They're they're failing him. The kings are not doing what's right, and all of a sudden there's this little burst, and all of a sudden the scene changes, and we meet this young King Josiah. Josiah is a king who loves God. He he tears down the high altars. He, He brings back the worship of the God of Israel. There's this breath of fresh air after all that darkness that preceded. Well, the Latin phrase that comes to mind, which was a rally cry of the Reformation as well, is post tenebras lux. Post tenebras lux. After darkness, light. That's what King Josiah brought. After the darkness, he brought light. Although, His light was short-lived and darkness returned. When we talk about after the darkness light, we're talking about the hope of Christ, the light of Christ that came into this dark world and changed this world, brightened it up, gave us a reason for hope, for Messiah had come. And that hope still lives on in us as we await for Messiah's return, for he will come again to Take us to be with him. And so we wait through the darkness for the light. That's what this season is all about. That's where Advent got placed. That's why Christmas got placed where it did. Not because we think this is when Jesus was born. Christmas got placed in December because it got placed at the darkest moment of the year. The burst of light. After the darkness and light changes everything. I hope in your Advent journey, you are finding yourself after the darkness. For some, these are dark days. These are hard days. Maybe it's the first time you're going through an Advent without a loved one, or without a job, or without a home. There is light, my friend. There is hope. For after the darkness comes Christ. I am the light of the world, he says. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not understand it. Well, I pray that we are together pushing back the darkness just a little bit to reveal that light of Christ, that light that comes that gives us hope in the 
midst of this season of Advent, and I hope that you find hope in this season as we continue to unbox hope on this day five of our Advent challenge. Join us tomorrow. I bet you know what day it will be. It will be day six. Thanks for joining us.